Okay, so we're setting bearing in play. We're doing a manual wheel bearing adjustment and verification of proper in play. Okay, and why are we doing that on this truck? Here, did we do brake job or it's a wheel we... seal replacement? A wheel seal replacement, okay. <laughs> Anyways, you want to make sure this is a dowel type inner nut. You want to make sure your dowel type is facing out. Make sure your wheel bearing has clean lubricant in it. Put your inner nut in there. And we're going to follow TMC's wheel bearing adjustment procedure. Um, step one is bearing lubrication. Step two, install adjusting nut torque to 200 foot pounds while rotating the wheel. So we've got 200 foot pounds. Correct. It's easier with an assistant. Whoops. Are we on? All right, go ahead. Now, why should you be rotating the wheel while you do this? This will seat the bearings in the races. And then you'll see it'll have a little bit more movement once I rotate it. I usually do this about three times. Okay, so do that three times. Let's do it one more just to be safe. Okay. Step. The next step is we are going to back off the adjusting nut one full turn. So you're going to back that same nut you just torqued one full turn. <coughs> Should be hand hand Finger loose. Tight. What's our next step? Retorque adjustment. Retorque the adjusting nut to 50 foot pounds while rotating the wheel. Okay, so now we're going to retorque it to 50 foot pounds. Correct. Torque right set to 50. Next step would be to do the final back off. This is the drive type. Notice the threads per inch. It don't matter, they're both a quarter turn. So. So now you're gonna back it off at one quarter turn? Yeah, so we want our torque, or our breaker bar to be right about here. And this nut will be loose, but that's okay. Step six, we're gonna do install our jam nut torque, our jam nut, and then we're gonna to torque it to 300 to 400 foot pounds. Okay, so now we're gonna install the jam nut and torque. Yep, you gotta make sure you're Between tabs three up. and 400, and you're lining your tabs up. Now, yep. can you show me those tabs a little better? I, I didn't. Well, you got your dowel right here. Got the dowel there. And you got your axle tab. Okay, oh, and I see you got this the tab there. Got prevents it. it from backing off. If it does not line up, you can flip your... You can flip that. Yep. But it lined up good the first time. And you got your tang washer. Okay, tang washer. And then we got your jam nut. And now your jam nut. Yep. Chad, you want to set that torque wrench to 350? So we're going to torque it to 350 foot-pounds. So when you're torquing this, you do not have to rotate the wheel? Nothing in TMC says you have to. Because this should not really move the bearing at all. Okay. Make sure it rotates freely, which it does. And this is kind of a critical measurement. We need to measure end play and get it to where one to five thousandths of an inch. Okay, so we're measuring end play 
to from one to five thousandths of an inch. Yep. You want to put it on the flat part of the hub, get it close. Whoops. And this is really not necessary, but you can zero it out. Each tab is one thousandths of an inch. What you're going to do is push on it, pull on it, push on it, pull on it. And our end play is right about five thousandths of an inch. That's right in spec. Okay, and the spec again was what? One to five thousandths of an inch. One to five thousandths, so we're at five thousandths here? Well, we're at like four. About four thousandths. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in there on the... I'm having a hard time getting it to focus. Okay. So one to five thousandths, you're about four thousandths. Basically, now if you are out of spec. Let's say you were uh, only moving that thing less than a one thousandth. What does that indicate? That means your bearings are too tight. Too tight, so that would indicate an over, over torque? Correct. You'd have to back off the inner adjusting nut until um, you can get correct end play. Okay. If you're over spec, let's say it had ten thousandths of end play, your bearings are worn. Uh, that or you're adjusting that it's too loose. Okay. Okay, so at this point we're going to bend Good about the at tang, least one tang. One tang over on the flat of the outer washer. At yeah. least one. At least one. I usually Good try practice to do, to do two. I usually try to do two. Might be a little overkill, but I don't want that coming off. So. All right, good deal. Thanks. 